There was a whistleblower came forward to Congress and they said there's an FBI a 1023 form that alleged that uh, Vice President Biden at that time took a $5 million bribe, so it's a pretty big allegation, uh, from a foreign national to enact specific policies in the United States and to push for certain policies in the United States. Clear violations of many laws brings up lots of issues. And the question was, uh, did it ever get investigated? Not was it all true or not. You don't know that yet. But did you even look into it? And, and if, if, if so, did you close it out? Why? If not, why? And, and by the way, we'd like to see the document. And until yesterday, the FBI didn't even confirm the document existed. Christopher Ray wouldn't confirm it existed. Then he was told he was going to be held in contempt if he didn't give it over to Congress because they issued a subpoena. And and suddenly they said, it does exist, and you can come see it in a skiff, right. which we talked about what that was, and, but it's going to be redacted, which means from the FBI, a bunch of lines that are blacked out, so you can't even literally put a sentence together. My experience with getting documents from the FBI when they're redacted, well, they're very, it's all black lines. They don't show anything. But uh, I'm going to say on this show what we told Director Ray, what Senator Grassley told Director Ray. He and I have already seen the 1023 form. We knew what was in the 1023 form. Until we told Director Ray that, he never even admitted that the form existed. This is, I think, the important part, Logan. Congress doing its oversight job, which is what the oversight committee is. They push it, but they don't accept the first response, which is that doesn't exist. They said, we got a whistleblower came to us. I don't think they're just making this up. Oh, to make well, it we up. found one. Oh, we got it. The exact form. You can come, but we're going to redact it. And he's right. If you, Because in our FOIA work, even when the FBI finally complies, yeah. the first time they comply, it's literally <laughs> it's blacked like out pages. Doctors. It's not even blacked out lines. It's like, man, this is just blocks. printed out. It's like a, it's like a bad for the earth. <laughs> it's like you're it's gonna have to, you need that Shaquille O'Neal like uh, printer refill, yeah, absolutely, uh, ink refill, because <laughs> or else you're gonna be going down to the. There's not even anywhere to buy ink anymore. Yeah, I, Hopefully, Amazon can get you two in time. Yeah, but literally, that's how blacked out it is, absurdly. And he knows that's what he's gonna get. He's gonna show up in there. If he agrees to that as that's it, and then he's he's not going to go back and be able to go, back, wait, what's this line? Was? It's, it'll mean nothing. But I think he's chipping away, and that's the important part. That's what you do with, like, our FOIA work at the ACLJ. You chip away. You keep pushing for it. You don't take their first answer. You don't take their second answer. Then you take them to court. Then they got to start complying, and even that answer you don't take. Then you fight over their answers, and no one knows if the actual information is on the report is true. No one is alleging it's true. All the whistleblower said is we got a document that said this. And all Congress really wants to know is what did it say? Let us give a read. Cause we'll also, if we read it, it sounds ridiculous. You know, maybe, maybe it wasn't worth a, a major investigation. Maybe it was kind of, kind of bogus sounding. And it would admit that it would make sense that you guys didn't go further on it. Yeah. Or, wow, I can't believe you. I read this and you didn't even, Check the check a couple of these allegations out. Maybe made a couple phone calls because I think what Congress is upset about here, Logan, is they can't. First, it took them this long to even get to admit they they had the form. I think really all they wanted to know was was there an investigation done on these allegations? If not, why? These members of Congress have total oversight over the federal government. Like it's kind of like a, I'd say it's like it's kind of like a slap in the face to them, Logan. To say you can come see it, but. Not all of it, because you're just a member of Congress. That does always seem to be the case. They're right? unelected. You're just someone who, who a, a president, you know, just appointed, right? You know, made it through the process. But that is a ridiculous thing. That is where the the branches of government, some of the oversight, it's very odd of what you can and what you can't get, what they can see and what they what they can't see. But then on the other hand, you have people who can see all these classified materials, can do all of these things, but they're not the elected officials. It's sort of a reformation that needs to happen. The same battle that we do on FOIA, they have to do as members of Congress, which is which is really a, 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 not a good process because Congress decides to fund these agencies. They exist because Congress provides them money, our taxpayer resources. So when Congress says, we need something from you, they're supposed to comply, at least do their best to comply. And if they have a reason why they can't, like if there's an ongoing investigation, there's, there's certain things they could do and say, especially behind the scenes, but but obviously that wasn't done here, and they start looking ridiculous when they say, okay, actually it does exist, and you can come, but you got to come see it our way. 